I am here at Pella Windows and Doors with owner Mike. Mike, thanks so much for having me out. Yeah. Very excited to talk about some front door designs today, but first off, how are you? Good, how are you, Blake? Thanks I'm for being good. here. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so front door design. This is something that really has the power to change the look of your home and also change how you feel about your home. So let's talk about this a little bit. Where do we start? It sure does. When you think about the, the front of a home, the curb appeal of a home, sure. The one thing that you can change, or if you're building a home, your, your wow factor is that front door. Yeah, That's the thing that can be most noticeable. So it is a great time to think about changing out your front door, mm -hmm. and there's a whole bunch of reasons that you might do that. Yeah, and what are those reasons? Because what I think is so interesting is you don't necessarily have to change the look of your entire home. You could just paint the front door, change something about the front door, which would make all the difference. You sure can. So some of the reasons might be, you know, security. First mm -hmm. of all, you want to protect your family. If you don't have a good secure locking system, it might be time for a new front door yeah, that you really out. feel good about. Uh, energy efficiency. If you're feeling the elements, if you're feeling the wind or drafts around that front door and it's just been there a long time, it might be time for a new one. Maybe the glass is fogged and it just it looks bad. Maybe it's really out of style. Maybe mm -hmm. it's your grandma's front door and, <laughs> and you just want something different. So aesthetics, just doing something different for your home, mm -hmm. those are three good reasons why you might think about changing that front door. The energy efficiency piece is really important to me because I think it's something that we don't always think <clears> about <throat> or something it's uh, sometimes it's something we neglect. So why would you encourage someone to maybe take care of that now before maybe it's too late or before, before it's causing more issues? We have seen a lot of front doors where you go inside and you can see daylight from inside to out. Yeah. See, and, and so you know the elements are getting in, the drafts. So to have a good secure front door for security reasons, but also just sealing up all those areas where water or air can get through, mm -hmm. you'll notice that in your, your cooling and heating bill. Mm, so it's it's good to get ahead of that now. For sure. Now the fun side of this, there's always new trends as each you know new year comes on. So what are we seeing with front doors for 2024 that are kind of in the predictions? Yeah, the cool thing about Pella is we have a variety of options. Whether your house is a craftsman style, so it's mostly a wood door with just a little bit of light, or a full light or very modern with clean lines and dark colors. You know we've got it all. We've we always say that we have. Uh, windows and doors for any home and every budget. Okay. Some of the styles is just an offsetting color or an offsetting style. Blue is in in 2024. Mm. So maybe it's time to put a blue front door on, on your home. Yeah. yeah, so there's certainly different ways that you can doll up your front. Even the hardware change on, the, on a front door really can make that uh, door look very different. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the metal type, you know, uh, Brush satin and nickel are, are very popular right mm -hmm. now. Well, maybe you want to change the hardware out on your front door to, to have what's current and what's modern. All right, so what kind of trends are we really seeing right now that are popping up um, that you're seeing a lot of homeowners kind of buy into that are, they're really loving? First and foremost, big is in. So, you know, a lot of front doors will have the piece of glass or the window over top of the door. That's called a transom. Okay. Get rid of that. Make your doors eight or nine or 10 feet tall, whatever your ceiling height will allow in your house. Okay. And then you have a big single door without that transom look. And that really freshens up a, a home and, and makes it look, you know, not as dated. Okay. So that's one thing, big is in. Um, modern is, is uh, very in as well. Clean lines, clean sight lines, lots of glass. Mm -hmm. um, Craftsman is still in, depending on your home. So that's you know where you have a lot of, of a wood look and just a little bit of glass at the top, maybe a, a shelf. Um, so it just depends on what your home is like and, and what you're after. We're not gonna come with an agenda for what we think you ought to do. Yeah. We wanna help you decide what makes sense for your home, what makes sense for your budget. And we'll even put a picture of the options you select in, in your home and show you that so that you have a visual image to choose from. It's gonna, you know, it's a big investment, so you wanna make sure you feel good about it yeah. and it feels right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and you still want the customer to feel like it's <clears throat> their choice and their doing. For sure. But that's what sets you guys apart. So tell me a little bit about the Pella difference. Yep, yeah. we're very consultive, when, you know, not pushy when we come into your home. We want to help you make a good decision like an interior or exterior designer would. Here's the Pella difference, 99 year old brand. Next year we get to celebrate our 100th anniversary as the as uh, Pella. Well, happy early birthday. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, that's, uh, that's super exciting. We've been around a long time. Local ownership, um, we are the most preferred brand of windows and doors in Southwest Missouri. We do that survey every other year to mm -hmm. just ensure we still are and we, <laughs> and we still are. So 
local ownership, local representation, local salespeople. We have a store at 448 West Battlefield in Springfield. Um, if you want to get a sense of what we're like to deal with, go read our Google reviews. Okay. Um, we, we have great customer feedback on what it's like to, to deal with Pella. And I would want prospective customers to go read those and decide for themselves. Yeah, so let's say there's homeowners out there who want to use your services, want to get your consultation help. How can they get a hold of you all? Yep, they can call us at the store at 887-8180, PellaSpringfield.com. Stop by anytime during normal business hours or we'll open, we are open until 7 on Thursdays and we're open 9 to noon Saturday morning, so we're here. Uh, you can come into our showroom, invite us into your home. There's just lots of ways that we'll serve you how you want to be served. Yeah, so many amazing things happening here. Excited to see what trends continue to pop up throughout the year. Yep. Pella, windows, and doors, come check them out.